Ah, yes. Nothing like the great outdoors with summer just around the corner. And you might be thinking to yourself, Roman, why are you sitting in front of a giant camper camping in the Colorado woods with a weird table on your lap? Well, that's because we're not here camping. We're actually here doing something really fun, and that is electric car camping. More specifically, we drove the smart car and, of course, the Tesla up here as an experiment to find out if this generator, yep, this is the big boy Honda fuel-injected 7000, can actually charge a smart car and the Tesla when you're out in the woods. You could, you could charge a smart car by just pushing it down a hill. Okay, yeah, enough of the smart car <laughs> jokes, Tommy, but we're actually doing a video trying to figure out if there is enough power coming out of this immense and expensive generator that does both 120 and, uh, what's that? 240 volts because we had to get a little bit creative to make this video happen. There's a lot of interesting results out here. Now, you recall last time we had that small little generator? Yeah, the Generac. Yeah, it didn't work so great. No. Um, now we're back here with the king of generators, and I'm hoping we can put some real power into both of these cars. And you're wondering, can this generator actually charge both of these cars? Well, this is a behind the scenes video. Come on, Andre, tell them what you brought. I brought a camera. No, no. you brought that. <laughs> I brought, of course, our project truck that we're going to use on the overland journey this summer from coast to coast on Transamerica Trail. No pavement needed. And it's basically a lifted truck. Uh, well, let me show you just really quick. It's our F-250 2020 crew cab, FX4, all that, blah, blah, blah. But it's riding on premium Carly suspension system. It's got 37-inch tall tires, Falcon Wild Peaks 83Ws. And it's got this four-wheel camper, pop-up camper on top. It's the Hawk. Yeah, but Andre, I can't plug it into the generator. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because, because you, uh, there's a 30-amp uh, power outlet right here. All right, guys. You may be wondering why we brought the truck when we're electric car camping. And the reason for that is quite simple. What is the reason for that, Tommy? You want to show them? The problem with this generator and these two cars. I don't know what you're talking about. Andre, oh, I you want also, to show the problem? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, Tommy, just lift it up. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Wowzer. No, no. The, the issue is that the generator weighs a little bit. So, so 250 have, pounds, dude. Actually, so, 291. Well, uh, it's almost like me. So we're gonna use the truck to bring the generator. Yeah, we had to bring the truck. And that video is coming up on TFL Car. So quick behind the scenes video, go over to TFL Car. Alex, you gonna get this done in about a day and a half? Oh yeah. Then come back on Wednesday and you'll see if that generator can actually charge those two cars while we're out here doing a little bit of camping. All right, boys, let's pack it up and let's head on home.